Hello, we're back. Uh, how to bloke here again. It's a Thursday, and we got a problem yesterday, Wednesday. This machine, I put a load in, look, a light load in, and it didn't work. And I've got to figure out why. And I'll show you what the symptoms are, okay? And that's all in French here, but don't, don't, just bear with me. There's, these are the washing programs here. And uh, what you do is you select something. I'm going to select, uh, it doesn't really matter what you select. The shortest program there is 15 minute wash. It's like a quick rinse wash thing. So that's what I normally uh, use to do a few like gloves and things like that. So that, see, this is going, it's, it's uh, saying, right, so you hit the, the, the start button. And what happens is, right, now that, that is the water evacuation pump, right? That's the pump that pumps out the water, evacuates the water from the machine and into the drain. Now, what should happen now, we should have some response from this drum that's in there. Now, you hear it, you probably can't hear this, but it's filling now. So, we know that the evacuation pump's going, we know it, the, it's filling. Right? It shouldn't take long. There's no smell of burning, there's no uh, uh, particular odour, no vibration, no leaks at all anywhere. The filter for the the, the machine is uh, should be okay. Okay, right, stop filling now. So normally, you get a reaction from the drum now, it will start to spin a little bit. So it's just filled up a little bit more. Nothing. Zero. So, what are we going to do? We know it fills, we know it pumps out water. We can assume, I take it from me, the filter is not blocked. Could it be the, 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 the logic board in there? Could it be the motherboard in there? Maybe, I doubt it. I reckon what it is, is something to do with the motor. It could be the motor, it could be the belt that drives from the motor to the drum. It could be a loose wire, it could be a burnt wire, it could be the motor that's packed up, the brushes, unless it's a brushless motor, the brushes, the carbon brushes that hit the armature. So what we're going to do now is going to look at, look at it. So I'm going to switch off now. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this, unplug it from the, from the mains uh, supply of water and tip it upside down to see if we can find out what it is that is wrong. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, we're back. Uh, well, I've got the machine upside down. Now what I'm looking for is some broken wires or it's unplugged by the way. Don't do this if it's plugged in. Always unplug it. Anyway, looking for wires that are broken that are going to and from the motor or loose or something because uh, these machines do they do vibrate. Now, okay, while we're talking about that. I'll check the belt here, the belt is, is okay, the belt that drives from the from the, the drum to the motor, that's alright, that spins okay. And it's free, there's nothing jamming the drum or anything. Wires, I think this has been repaired before, because there's wires being cut here. It all looks old, there's nothing new, nothing. So. If there's a wire loose or, or broken, corroded, it'd be, it'd be obvious, you better see what's wrong. What is troubling though is the amount of carbon dust that's around that's coming off of this, off the armature of this motor. I mean, it really is thick. No, uh, that's, that's not good, that. Now, I reckon, I reckon that this will benefit from the electromotor being taken out and the armature being cleaned up. I don't have any spare brushes, carbon brushes to put in there. Otherwise I'd put them in. But what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is uh, take this motor off somehow. I have no idea. These are the securing nuts there. So I guess an Allen key or something in there. Undo there. One, two, three, three points. No, four mounting points. There's one other one here. So four mounting points, take the motor out, get it on the bench and uh, take, the, take this off somehow. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, see you later. Right, we've got this, uh, you've taken this motor off here, look. There it is. What a job that was. Oh. Anyway, we're going to try and uh, 
take off the wiring ream or at least loosen it so we can get the thing back on or in. So we need to get uh, this, we need to access this area, where is it? No, wrong end. This, this area here. This area here. This is the armature and these are the these are the carbon brushes which um, spin. Now what I can see is that the gaps between those copper segments they're not clean so they need to be clean. We're going to clean that up. Maybe we're going to just going to reprofile the carbon brushes a little bit see what happens. I'm not expecting much. I don't, there's no scent, there's no smell of you know, normally if something's burnt you know inside these elements here the wiring you smell something or see something there's nothing wrong with it I reckon it's the I reckon it's the brushes so I mean look it's this is a uh, some of it ex to be expected but that's a lot so right we'll come back in a minute I know we're back now you got the motor off as I said and uh, we had to remove do in order to uh, take the take this motor apart, we have to use four. I on this occasion, four four security screws here. One, two, three, four. They're all torque screws. Unfortunately, my only torque spanner was that one. But I have a little key set which wasn't long enough, so I had to kind of use them. It wasn't uh, it wasn't pretty, but we got the thing off in the end. So well, we've got these four uh, screws loose in the end. So there we are. So now we can take the thing apart carefully. Um, I've kept the wiring loom on, and the brushes, or well, one of the brushes, is still in. So let's have a look. This is the the armature of the electric lighter. I don't know a great deal about these, but I do know. I used to have old cars, so I know that uh, if these things are not clean. There's a problem. No, you can't see that, but there's a lot of residue. There's a lot of carbon uh, f uh, dust in between those uh, those segments of the the commutator there. So we need to all we need to do is clean it off. The only way you can clean it off is with some some uh, a special cleaner for for this sort of thing. Unfortunately, I've got some. Uh, this particular one I got is made by WD-40 and I used to use it for motherboards and things like that but this time so we're going to need one of some of that spray, contact spray, contact cleaner and a toothbrush and a rag right. we'll just switch off the camera at the moment and get ourselves the tools that we need right, got myself some rag, I've got some cleaner here and I've got an old toothbrush don't use your wife's toothbrush for this, she wouldn't be too pleased. Right, so what we're going to do, that's the bearing by the way, on the end of the, there's two bearings, one there, one here. And they're, they're good, they're not notchy at all. And uh, the whole thing spins without a little bit of movement in there, but it's okay. Right, so that's it, that, we're going to clean some of this. So we're going to get in there and just give it a... I clean up as best we can. Now what I don't have is some new brushes to go in here. So I have to wing it with the old ones and uh, or to get some on order. They're not really they're normally they're about I don't know between five and ten five and ten quid, five and ten dollars, that sort of thing. So we're gonna clean that all off there. So it looks quite good. Any amount of carbon in there, if you get any carbon between there, what you could do is to get some sort of If you're not sure, but looking at those, you can see them under that with with the naked eye. These little magnifying glass, it looks it looks all right. 
it looks good. The armature is a little bit worn as you expect, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, a little bit more. Right. The beauty of this stuff is it's uh, it's quick drying. It doesn't leave any any uh, residue on the on uh, what you're working on. So I'm just going to leave that to leave that at the moment. Right. The brushes. The brushes are. They look okay. I'll show you a brush, a carbon brush. You know, this one here. I took one off just to have a look. Now, if you can have a look there, look, it's the, the action is, is, is still there, and I can see that there's a good, they're not right down to the copper, the copper um, table that's on the end of them. So they've got, they've got a bit of wear left in them. They, you know, ideally, I put some new ones in and uh, uh, if I had them, but I haven't got any, so I'm going to have to take a photograph of that. Take some notes and numbers and names. It's got T40 written on it. I know it's on the other side. T40 just there. So anyway, right. We're going to put the thing. Up to, I'm, I'm quite happy now that the and the other the other brush is in here. The other brush is here. Just there, look. Just in there. I'm going to take that off just in, in a moment. Now the action of that is good. What I could do, in fact, is just to spray some of this stuff in here. Like that. Make sure it's free. And I'll do the same in here. Right. Yeah, that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. The brush is not broken or anything, so all is good. So what you can do here is you can either try and hold the brush back whilst you put the thing back in, or take the brush holder off. And I think in this case, I'm going to take the brush holder off. So I'll just take this cable off here. We're going to undo this screw here. Where is it? No, wrong, wrong size. This size? Yeah. See, that's the problem, you see, all I've got is these things. Really, I need a tool, I need a proper screwdriver with these ends on it, you see? So, I mean, your your machine may not have a Torx screws on it. It might be Allen, Allen's keys, Allen uh, bolts. So you never know until you take it to have a look. Right, so we take this brush uh, assembly or holder off. Take it off like that. Have a look. See, there's T40 written on there. T40. I can't see what that says. Four four something. Can you see what that is, cameraman? Uh, one one and another four. I think. I'm one, not one. Sure. Yeah. One one, one and then I don't know. Yeah, Some sort of weird letter. letter. Okay, so right, so we know we're safe now to put this uh, armature back in. So we're going to make sure it goes in the way it came out. So we're just going to offer up that like that, and make sure that it goes in the way it came out. Well, I'm just going to cut the camera now so that we can uh, figure out how this goes back on. Well, I'll just put the motor back together again. I've just fitted one of the, refitted one of the brush holders here. There's one in. I'll fit the other one now. And uh, see where we go. These are a breeze to get off actually. This, as I say, 
Mm. Had I known which screwdrivers to use, I, I needed. I would have bought them before I started this job, but you never know. I thought I had all the tools in the world, but obviously not. I've lost a torque screwdriver now. Ah, I've got it here. So, this is, you can overcome it, but it just takes more time. And uh, it's annoying. Make sure that hold that uh, carbon carbon folders uh, folder holders on there properly. Right, let's have a look at the, the brushes now. Turn the turn the armature. Make sure the brushes turn or slip round nicely, which they do. Yeah, looks good. I'm just checking for any like movement lateral. Or, there's nothing, it's good. It's like, I can't, uh, like new, not new. Okay, we're going to put it back on now. I'm going to mount this back onto the, the side of the drum there, so this thing fits down in there. So I'll cut the camera now, I'll come back to you when I've done that. Hello, we're back, and uh, we had a bit of a technical issue earlier on, so I can't show you all the footage, but have a look at this uh, machine right now. There we are. It works good, actually, better than it did before. I switch it, I'll put it on pause. Um, now, well, what happened was, was that uh, one of the wires was broken. It wasn't to do with the armature, it wasn't to do with the, well, I forgot, I forgot what it's called now, the copper bit at the end of the thing with the, the carbon brushes. Now, you can see in the video I did clean those up, uh, but uh, it, it made a lot of difference uh, with the performance of the, uh, the motor, but that wasn't a problem. It was that one of the black wires, if you look in the video, one of the black wires uh, leading from that jumble, from that wiring loom, to one of the carbon brushes. Now, how I didn't pick that up, I just don't know. But, uh, there we are. So, what happened was, I put it back together again, fitted it all up, and then it still wouldn't work. So, I was thinking, yeah, I must have missed something. So, I had to take it, the motor out, the electric motor out again. This time, I, I had a... Um, what would you call it? Multimeter. I checked the, and one of the wires was not. It was uh, it was broken basically, and I didn't see it. So there we are. So what the symptoms were in this in this thing? Remember, the machine would fill up, and after a time, but the drum wouldn't move. And it would empty, and it would go through. The, it would go through this. It go through its motions, uh, but the drum would not turn. So if the drum doesn't turn. Maybe, in my case anyway, it was the lead going from the wiring loom to uh, one of the carbon brushes. And that stopped it, obviously, without that, you don't get the, the motor wouldn't work. So there we are. I mean, it could be other things, but that, in my case, that was the problem. And why did this happen? Well, because the vibration, the wiring loom, the wiring loom is fixed to the chassis of the of the washing machine, but the motor is not. It's, it is fixed to the, in this particular case, fixed to the drum. So you had the, a case of the wire stationary, drum moving. And this business, all the time, just snapped it. So in my case, I made sure that I made got some plenty of insulation so that wouldn't happen again. There's no rough rough edges, no... No, no sharp bits of plastic touching the wires, so hopefully it'll last a few years now. And um, here we are. So there you have it. So if you get the same symptoms, then maybe uh, maybe it's the same thing for you. Anyway, I've got some uh, cooking videos up here. I've got some uh, quick tips up here. I've got some more G uh, DIY, GIY, DIY uh, jobbies down here. And uh, if you want to subscribe to me, this channel is down there. So until next time.